Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is Oba Emmanuel. I want to testify to the glory of God because indeed there is God in this place. Put your hands together for Jesus. My elder sister has been inviting me on this program several years, but I have never showed up. Not until January this year. The first Monday that I attended the program here, mommy pointed at me and said, someone that is here, that somebody that people that are mocking you and those that hate you, they will return to bow before you. And I say, amen. That very night, I was at home around 11.30 to 12 p.m. Suddenly, my, my neighbor, the woman, when she came to the company, newly, she just caused everybody around the company to hate me and my family of, for no cause. And suddenly, that very night, around 2, 12 a.m., she started screaming, shouting, calling my wife by my daughter's name, Mommy Zion, Mommy Zion, come and help me. I was shocked for the woman to start calling us. But suddenly, I told my wife, no problem. We are just preparing to pray our 12 uh, midnight prayer that mommy gave to us. This was and happening in the midnight? Midnight. And suddenly, I woke up and I prepared myself and I told my wife, okay, let's go there. And as I was going out, I remember I came here with a bottle of anointing oil and mommy prayed on the contact. And I went into the house and I asked mommy what did I Before I could ask, I even saw her daughter lifeless already. She was shouting, egg by me, egg by me, help me, help me. And suddenly I was helpless. I don't even know what to do. I break forth to listen from the Holy Spirit. And suddenly for some minutes she was still shouting. I could not touch the girl. But suddenly and I said, God, what do I do? And suddenly say, the time has come. And I begin to appreciate God. And I begin to appreciate God for the life of the child that you will not die because Jesus died on timely death so that you will live. Jesus paid the price and he swallowed up the power of death in victory. Come back to life. And suddenly I took the anointing oil, I spit it on her face and the mouth that was closed, we tried all possible best with spoons to open the mouth. It could not open but I tried a little drop of the oil into her mouth. And immediately the oil dropped into her mouth. She just jerked back to life. Somebody make a noise for the Lord. Make some noise for the Lord. The devil is in trouble. Oh, yes. Let me tell you something. This year, nobody will die around us. Amen. Because the anointing to raise the dead is moving around in the house. Amen. After that, the whole neighbors came in and began to shout, uh, Daddy, thank you, thank you. I said, please, it's not me, it's the works of the Lord. Return the glory to God. And ever since then, once the woman see me in the morning, she will bow down and say, thank you, Daddy, good morning. How are you? Jam your hands for Jesus. <laughs> amen, amen. Let me tell you something. After today, God will give you what will make your enemy to bow for you. In the name of Jesus. Hello, sir. This was somebody that hated you so much. So much. With passion. passion. With great passion. But with the, you know, some, sometimes we are, we are taking the materials for levity. The, those anointed water, as you lift it up, the, it, it is carrying the power of God. The anointing oil he took from the service, just a drop of it upon... <laughs> let, let, let's hear the rest, sir. The second leg... Last week again on Monday when I was out for outreach, reaching out to the lawsuit, and suddenly I met a soul after leading him to Christ. I was about leaving that place and the Holy Spirit told me, pause for a while. Why not just relax for a while in this place? And immediately I just relaxed in that place. Within five minutes, there's a woman that is selling food opposite where I sat down. And suddenly I saw a lady just somersaulting. And immediately she somersault, that was the end. She just gave up the ghost. And people were just shouting, pouring water on her, using onions and other things. She did not come back to life. And I walked to that place. I stood and I was just watching. I did not wear anything that reflect as a pastor, just only suits that I wear. But everybody there shouting, Pastor, pray, let this woman come back to life. 
I was just looking at them. Who is the pastor here that they were shouting, pray for this woman to come back to life. I don't know what to do in the midst of that crowd. But I remember that each time I go out, I must go out with a bottle of anointing oil in my pocket. Praise God. Then in that moment, when the shouting was too much, even to the extent the lady wanted to grab my shirt and say, you are watching this guy dying, can't you pray? And suddenly, I say, God, what do I do? He said, pray. And I begin to thank him as usual again. Father, thank you for the life of this one because I know she will not die. She will surely come back to life. And immediately I brought her the anointing oil. I wanted to drop the anointing oil in her mouth, but the woman that owns the shop said, no, that in case anything happened more than this, they will say we gave her something. And suddenly I used wisdom and I began to sprinkle the anointing oil on her. And suddenly, the girl that her hands was so white already, how her body was stiff, just breathed and she came back to life. And Jam your hands together for Jesus. Sir, is it the same anointing oil? Same anointing oil. The same anointing oil. Yes. Somebody said the same anointing oil. Yes. It is just one in a kind. Jam your hands again together for Jesus. A day, God is here. I just want to appreciate the glory unto his name because he is the doer of every great thing that happened on these days. May his name be blessed forever. And I use this opportunity to say, Mommy, thank you for the grace of God upon your life. <laughs>